Hey everyone, my name's DM Jason on the Reddit forums. Uh, I am making a quick build tutorial here on how uh, to build the glass boat that I posted previously. Um, I have S Plus and Platforms Plus on my currents on my server. I'm currently in a single player game so that I can just spawn in everything I need. Um, this is a test build for the base I'm working on on my live server. I'm, I'm not even above the dino gate yet. <laughs> it's much slower going than it is here. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so this boat can be uh, almost completely built without S+. Uh, obviously, it'll have to be in metal instead of glass or wood or whatever. Um, but it, there are no behemoth hatch frames uh, in vanilla, so you will have to use an alternative to that, which I will discuss after we finish the build. So let's jump right into this. You're going to need a motorboat, obviously. Um, here is a motorboat. So uh, the inventory you're going to go through, uh, it'll be 27 regular metal foundations. Um, S plus metal foundations will not allow you to extend support enough, so we only use them where we have to. Um, a behemoth glass trap door, uh, S plus behemoth metal hatch frame, 10 S plus glass ceilings, 3 S plus glass doors, you can use double doors if you want, 3 S plus glass door frames, 2 S plus glass gates, 7 S plus glass ramps, 32 S plus glass walls, 5 S plus metal foundations. Um, these will be in a few spots where we need them. Um, not need, but makes life a lot easier. Um, 2 S plus metal gateways, 9 S plus metal ramps, 2 S plus slope glass wall left, 2 slope glass wall right. Um, and then these last three pieces are just to help with the build. Uh, four thatch ceilings wooden fence foundation and a wooden pillar. These are all standard, not S+. I'm also carrying a demo gun and a transparency cycler, which we'll use towards the end. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get started with the build. Um, first things first, uh, we want to get our foundation sunk. Now you'll notice One Wing X, who uh, I want to give all props to for getting me into building boats. He does a thing where you grab there and you click there, but we want this boat to be 4x4, four four, so uh, I'm not going to do that. Um, what I'm about to do works for 3x3 three three as well. You have to start in a different spot, but it works fantastic. So I'm going to take a fence post. I'm going to line it up right here. It just so happens I know that that's the center of the boat. Um, and I want the tip of this to be in the center of that square. Okay. Now I'm going to place a pillar next to it. This pillar will automatically be sank um, a certain depth. And it's the perfect depth. So that, oh, I don't want an S+. Plus. Well, I want... Uh, regular foundation here uh, it is sank just perfectly so that it will drop perfectly flush uh, and I can do the whole boat this way so now I'm gonna pick up this I'm gonna pick up this and there so now I'm gonna go ahead and put down my four initial ones that I can always place okay and then I'm gonna put uh, two thatch ceilings down I'm going to put foundations under them and then I'll pick them back up okay now on this half, I'm going to again um, put down my two thatch ceilings. I'm going to put a foundation here, and this one I actually want to be an S plus. So we will specifically grab an S plus foundation for that one. Okay, and you can see there it says S plus metal foundation. If you ever uh, screw up and you need to put down an S plus metal foundation, you can still do it. You just place a thatch ceiling, put it under it. Uh, you just have to pick it up, put it in a converter if you need to. Uh, when I first did this, I messed up real bad doing that. So, all right, I'm going to put down four thatch ceilings. I'm going to put down my foundations under them. You'll notice there's a very slight glow underneath it that lets me know that it's there. Um, I used to climb under the boat. It's not necessary uh, if you're confident, especially if you're using S-Plus where you can pick up a misplace. So, I'll put four more down. I will put foundations under them. Okay, so at this point, I have placed the cabin. So this is the cabin of the boat. This is where you're normally living and where everything's at. You could actually just build it just like this and have a fantastic boat you can live off of, except you wouldn't have any hauling capacity uh, for dinos. So now we're going to add the whole back half of the boat is just to propagate the ability to haul dinos around. So I'm going to put down four. However, uh, I want a S-plus foundation on this end. 
and then I want a regular one, and a regular one, and then I want an S plus foundation under this one. I'm not hot keying them so that I don't accidentally place it in my rush because I'm building kind of fast here. Okay, I'm going to do another row. I'm going four rows back. Um, and again, on the ends, I want S plus foundations. Same for this one. And that was my last one. All the rest are going to be normal foundations. Okay. And then, whoops, put the gun away. Thatch, 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 thatch. Foundation, 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 foundation. It's not apparent. I do this a lot. Um, One Wink X really turned me on to uh, boat building. Um, man, like in my first week in ARC, I was already obsessed with building boats. So uh, this design has gone through quite a few revisions. All right, I'm done. I now have my full thing built. And yes, it does look kind of like a barge. The back end's kind of a big fat ass and swings around. So now that I've got that done, I actually won't need the thatch ceilings again. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is put down my walls uh, and my doors uh, and my slope ceilings. Okay, so we're going to start off in this corner here. Actually, you know what? Let's put our metal ramps on first before we do that. So the metal ramps are going to be pretty simple. I want one here. And the front metal ramps, see whoops, see how you, have, you can have it flush or bulging up a little bit? For the front ramps, I want them to actually poke up a little bit so that they mesh better with the ramp going. Because the whole front of the boat is a wedge, making it great for uh, you know, picking up dinos. Uh, for doing trapping. The back one, I definitely need it on the low slot. There we go. And then I've got, let's see, uh, one, two, right here is where I want, come on. There we go. I want one there, and I want one there, and then I want to repeat that over here. One there, and one there. Okay, perfect. Now I can put the walls in. So uh, let's do our slope ones first. Um, this area right here is the entrance where we're going to walk in. I want this snap to this side. I want to be on. I want it to be on this tile. Uh, and then over here, I want the opposite. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, start my ramp climbing here. So we got one there, got one there, and then our ramp will go up here, and the other ramp will go here. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to have a doorway that I want on, I want it on this tile, and with a door in it, okay, and then we got some walls to put down, so we got there, and the rest of the boat is going to be too tall, so that makes it pretty easy to remember. Okay, now I need to seal off the cabin, and I want the wall to be on this cabin side. Like so. As far as why I went with glass, because it's cool, um, it's a lot of extra crystal if you do glass as a warning. Oops, missed that place. Or did I get it? Yeah, I did get it. All right, I got it on the right side. Okay. Um, and that one goes there. Okay. So now the front cabin is sealed in. This is great. One thing I do, this is intentional, is all three doors for people are in a line to make it easy to navigate the boat. Um, all right, so these two spaces are going to be for the dino gates, so we will skip them. So the next one goes here. Uh, let's do one here. And then I've got my door frame, and a door, and the top. Okay, all my walls are up now. This is going very smoothly. So next, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I want to put up my dino gates now, So uh, and my hatch frame. So first, let's get the dino gate. So the reason we did S plus foundations is so the gate will snap to them. If you don't have S plus and you've got to place them normally, you want to find here, line it up with you know the ledge there, and hit 
the orbit camera. Oh, stop trying to snap. Well, all right, let me move over here so it's not trying to snap. So you'll get it like this, and then you would creep up to the edge, right? And you get out here, and then you would center the gate so that it's just barely overhanging each side of the ramp. And then you would let go, or put it down. So, uh, but because it's S plus, I can get it to snap. So we're going to do that instead. So um, it can be a little tricky with this one. It doesn't like the snap very well. You just have to try a few times. Usually I'm pretty lucky, but I probably won't be because I'm trying to be lucky on camera. Bastard. Come on. Yeah, if you couldn't pick them up, I would be so nervous about trying to do this. Oh, come on. Seriously? Come on, I'm on camera. I want to do this in one take. I don't want to edit this. There we go. Got one. Okay, come on. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Stop. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, uh, next, uh, we can go ahead and put the gates in uh, here. So, now, I leave the small doors on uh, auto because it's a pretty rare instance that I don't want them opening and closing for me. The big gates, uh, I leave manual. If I wasn't going to leave a manual, I would set them to auto-close only. But for the most part, I will control when those things open and close. So uh, we're going to come back to the hatch frame just because it's easier once we put the rest in. So now it's time to uh, enclose the cabin. So I'll need my seven ramps, and I'll need my ten glass walls. And then we can go ahead and put these on the bar. So... Um, Notice these line up nice and smoothly with the bottom this way instead of having a little hitch. So I'll put six down. And the last one will not, you can't put it down like this. So uh, I have to first get the ceilings put in. So I'll get my eight ceilings here. Like so. And then I can put the last ramp off of the ceiling. It'll be canter just a little bit higher than the rest, but uh, I don't know, call it aesthetic, whatever. You can't make it go otherwise. Now it's time to put down the hatch frame. And what I'm hoping for, oh, I got lucky. It will vibrate a little. And what you need is for the hinges to be door side, like to the sides of the boat. And that's so when I put this on. Come on, can I get to it without setting it off? There we go. Uh, switch to manual. So when I click it, it'll open to the sides, meaning this ramp is now a fantastic capture bin to grab dinos with. So we'll go ahead and shut that. Um, you can also put a wyvern inside and then shut the door and the wyvern won't be attackable. Uh, the last thing I do is put two little wingy bits on the end here. Uh, you'll notice in my screenshot, I had them up here because it was, it stuck a refining forge up here. But for the, usually I keep them back there um, and we put turrets on these. Um, you could put turrets on them. You could also pick up uh, the wingy bits you could uh, hang them off the back and put uh, Plant Species X on. If people are worried about lead sickness, I, I, I don't know why. We don't see them here. I've only seen one, and that was like two weeks ago. Then you could hang them off the back of the boat and put your Plant Species X there. Basically, replace turret with whatever thing you want, and that could be Plant Species X. So um, all of that's placed. So the next thing I want to do is uh, I will show... So the boat's finished. I will. So I said I was going to talk about what I would do different. If you're not on S plus and you're making this out of metal, you will not be able to do this with uh, a giant hatch frame. I would actually do four. Or I mean, with you don't have a behemoth hatch frame. I would do four giant hatch frames. I really would. I would do four giant hatch frames, and then the bottom. It's up to you if you want to compartmentalize it or not. Um, <clears throat> It would be pretty easy to do, like, uh, I think if I did that, I would have um, this compartment here. I would enclose in a 2x2 two two section, and that would be the drop bin. This is where I would drop in dinos for taming. I could drop them in, and I would put a door back here. So I run in, drop them in, I go through the door, they're stuck in there, and I would leave this L for hauling my dinos around. So then the question is, why four trap bin or of these ceilings because it's only two pieces to cover four ceiling squares as opposed to using ceiling tiles which would take up so you're going to save uh six four extra pieces by doing instead of doing eight walls here or ceilings doing 
two of those drop bins, or I mean the giant hatch frame. Um, so that's what I would change if I was doing this for that. But honestly, on a, the other one, I would probably, honestly, I would probably, no, I'd probably, that's what I would go with. Yeah, one there, one here, and then to save piece count, doors here, but it would really, this would all be one big chamber. So um, that's the boat. So now what I want to do, uh, let's uh, change the time of day here. Uh, I don't want it to get dark while I'm doing this build. Okay, um, close that. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now is show how I would populate the inside of the boat. So uh, let's just transfer everything and let's pick up this sucker. Okay, so this is how I would lay out this boat um, for easy living. So the first thing I do is I... Uh, am I seriously starving? Oh, I forgot to tell it that I'm invulnerable. Let's do that real quick. Uh, put the gun away. No, don't. Here. Leave me alone. Okay. Now I'm awesome. Okay. Uh, so let's grab my gun. Uh, what I do here is I pick up these ceilings because it makes it a lot easier to get your initial placements done. So there's a couple things I do. Um, I start off by placing my bunk beds because they're going to be easy. I know they're going to go to the edge of this tile, as close to the wall as I can get it. And I'll drop that one. And then I'll put another one next to it. Perfect. I also know that I can place two of my storage containers. Um, let me make sure I don't get it through the glass. Let's see, about right there is fine. And then I'll place another one on top of it. Um, these are because they're about the most efficient means of storage. They're small. They'll hold 300 of anything. And um, uh, I like them because my, my I usually ride around in this boat with a buddy. And my buddy's locker's there. My locker's here. When we're going to log off, we just put all of our shit in the locker. And that way, if for any reason we fall through the boat or something happens, the other guy wants to drive the boat off, I don't lose anything. And I can just fast travel to the bed and get my gear. So anyways, um, now that that's placed, the next thing I do is I put down my industrial grill. And I get lined up here with the rivets to make sure I'm straight. And then I look down over the top here. Oh, I can probably get it closer to me first. Uh, that is not great. Over a little bit. How am I doing? Ah, I've done worse. Okay. So I get the grill lined up as close as I'm comfortable. That's pretty good right there. Place my grill. Um, actually, you know what? Before I place my grill, let's uh, pick up. Let's get the generator taken care of. So this was an S plus foundation. That is because I want to place internal wiring on it, and I want to place uh, internal piping. I want to place an electrical outlet. I uh, put it here. I want to place a water pipe, or a water tap, which I'll put there. And then real quickly, let's jump under the boat. Boop. And let's place an intake pipe. Which is going to go right there. You can see the intake pipe. Now, you cannot do an intake pipe on uh, a vanilla boat. You need S plus for that. But that gives me running water on the boat. Okay. So now, uh, let's take and put down a generator. Like so. Let's put some gas in it. And turn that baby on. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. So, now I've got electricity. Um... I'm going to place two small crop plots, one here and one here. I grow mejo berries and narco berries in those. That way uh, I've got taming food always and I can make more narcs constantly. I will place a compost bin right here. Uh, come on. I'm going to have to try and jump up here to do this. There we go. So I want a compost bin back there. That way I can just I just constantly throw in. You just pick up three pieces of poop, add some thatch, and that keeps these fertilized really well. Um, a cooking pot. I want it right here so that it's next to the water so I can just turn to refill canteens. Okay, or water skins, whatever you're using. I'm not judging. Uh, I put a feeding trough here. Uh, and as long as they're, as far as worrying about clipping the window, just make sure they're on that at the edge of the foundation. They won't clip. Uh, and then my last one, this is a new thing I've started doing, is I put an air conditioner down. 
Um, the S Plus air conditioner is really, really powerful. Uh, I can actually put an egg here and it'll incubate most of the time. So it's pretty nice. Um, all right, so all those are done. Uh, the next thing I put down uh, is uh, we'll do a fabricator. Let's get nice and close. Uh, oh, I almost had it a little bit to the right. That's pretty good. Be good enough for government work. Got a fabricator down. Let's uh, put a forge for smelting metal. If you're not putting an industrial forge on the roof like an idiot. Um, and by the way, I was just seeing if I could. Uh, my industrial forge ended up in the base that I'm building to the right now. Okay. Um, next, we'll put down our smithy. Which I'm just putting. Uh, we're going to go this direction. So that uh, it's kind of stowed back. Then I put my actual crafting station that I craft with my S plus crafting station right here okay and then I put a mortar and pestle on top of it makes a nice little table got it uh, so next is the grill which I'm hoping I can get up here to place oh perfect okay this is where I want to be so uh, I need to place it in a grill uh, we're gonna have to scoot it way up here let's go to orbit cam Oh, almost All to the right. That's pretty good. Let's move over so it's not poking through the wall. Okay, grill down. Now, um, I like to do a bookshelf um, next to the bed. Whoops. Oh, come here. Come on, don't be a jerk. Okay, for storing blueprints. Um, and then I do uh, a fridge. And the fridge will go here. And I tend to clip it into the... Well, I don't have to clip it too much. I just clip it a little bit like that because I want to put a preserving bin next to it. I didn't use to, but being able to make kibble out in the field is kind of nice. Especially if you're not planning on it. And uh, I just kind of get the preserving bin until it feels right. Probably about halfway in. Enough that I can get to it easily. And then my last little tidbit is a vessel for holding salt. It's not very often that I find I need the salt, but when I do need it, I want to make sure I have it. We'll try, like, right here. There we go. So now i got a place to put my salt. Uh, what's left to put down? Uh, my turrets. So, or, like I said, if you wanted, you could make these large crop plots. You can do whatever you want with them. Um, so, you can only go, like, to here. This is as far back as you can place an object. So, it's just one of the weird things about uh, extending a boat back this far. So, what you have to do is figure out how far back it'll let you get away with. It won't there. There we go. And then we scoot back. doesn't like it there and then we get it right about there and then I turn it around so that it faces that way by default okay guns down so now I've got my guns I got all this this looks great um, oh we put our four walls back we almost forgot or ceilings and the last thing to do is to use the transparency gun so uh, I will click this I want one way in out or out in for these and I do 0.25 tinting then you right click to save the settings and then you propagate that to all the tiles that need that one. I believe the ceilings and ramps all use this one. Um, and I believe the sloped wedges on this side do. I was mistaken. The sloped wedges on the other side use it. So I'll come over here. Boop. Boop. Okay. Um, that should be it. Everything else. Oh no. The. Uh, the hatch frame, I think, also uses the same setting. And then the rest of them will be reversed. So we go blip. Okay, that's perfect. So now we're going to come here to this door. And we'll click it, right click. Now the settings, I want to change it to this one. Update done. Save settings. Blip. There we go. And now I can go ahead and propagate this around the boat.
Oh, uh, it's clear settings. I make those opaque. And then save setting. And then clear setting, opaque. setting okay got that uh, oh one last thing to do come in here and let's clear setting and we set this one to two-way glass 0.25 update done blip 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 you could also use uh, the model selector if you wanted to make it like it so it looks like one pane of glass but um, I usually don't bother with that so anyways, there you go. That is the boat. All done. Let's see how many pieces we have left. Probably not many. Um, we got the thatch ceilings. We can use them. Boop. We have one, two, three, four. Oh. No, okay, four pieces left. Yeah, I was going to say, I was... So, what do I do with those last four? Um, one thing I do is uh, I put a multi-lamp right here under the center um, and set it to 20 intensity uh, so that it uh, it lights up. It'll, it'll light the cabin up um, even there, and it also casts quite a light in front of the boat in case you're driving at night. Um, I usually uh, put running lights on the top here and a flag so uh, because my buddies all build basically the same boat, so we get flags so that, and put a logo on it so we can tell whose boat is whose at a glance. Um, anyways, that's about it, man. Um, you can also you can use uh, those four slots to add extra storage. Um, but yeah, so this should uh, keep you pretty happy. I hope this is a helpful build. Like I said, if you're doing uh, if you don't have S plus, uh, I would do four giant hatch frames here. And then I would use, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces to put uh, walls here and a single door leading out so that uh, you could use it for a capture bin and the rest to hold dinos you're transporting. It also means you could do a capture and then you could do a second capture over here while that one's taming if you needed to. So, uh, Anyways, lots of versatility. Very handy little boat. I love it. Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and do a tutorial to show... Uh, my stone boat that I used before I can make a motorboat and all this cool stuff. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.